hey y'all welcome back to my channel welcome back to tommy bites homestead so today we'll be making ribs in the ninja foodie um this is quick and easy so if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button subscribe to the channel and join the family y'all these are some ribs that i vacuum sealed a few months back when i did a food haul and i seasoned them before i vacuum sealed them and so now all i have to do is cut it open and place it into the container that will go into the ninja foodie i am adding water because i'm cutting my salt intake but you can do beef broth if you would like this pot has measurements on the side that will show you the level you need to be at if you're pressure cooking and that's what i'll be doing so i'll be stopping when i get to a certain line so now i'm just placing the pot back into the ninja foodie and i will also have to use my pressure top that goes on here it's a specific top that they have that comes with it also they have um, another container that you can use for air frying and so we won't need that for this one so this is the main lid is attached this is the one that's not attached it has a vent and it has the pressure um dial that you use it also has a feature on the Ninja Foodie that has a lock on it. And it has one um, a symbol on the lid itself to show you how to line it up. So it's really simple. There it is right there. And all you're going to do is place it on there and get it leveled and then close it. And it'll lock by itself. I like this Ninja Foodie because once you start pressure canning that heat builds up it does not allow you to open the lid until all the pressure has been released from that pot so this is just the level one side says pressure one side says vent that little round circle right there uh, once everything has released it will pop up and it'll let you know that there's no more pressure in the pot and all you're going to do is start it and then you're going to hit um, pressure cook. It'll automatically go to high. And when it's going around like that, that's letting you know that it's starting to um, get hot and heat up for you. Once it stops doing that and it looks like that, then the timer will come up and then you can set it for whatever time that you choose to cook your meats on. For the ribs though, I'm doing mine on high and I'm doing them for 45 minutes. You can do it for 30 because I'm doing a two part step. So I'm doing mine on 45 minutes and then I'm just going to let it start cooking. So now it's starting to build back up on pressure and once it does then the um, timer will automatically jump on that you had it to so now I'm down to 20 something seconds and I'm showing you how to release the pressure from it you just move the dial over to vent and make sure you're careful because this is hot I had to push it up because my cabinets are above it so I had to bring it out so that that can shoot up and not be on my cabinets so now the pressure is starting to dwindle a little and now it's all gone so all you're gonna do is well you see the steam coming up from the area and that's popped up so it's letting you know that all the pressure has been released so now I'm just gonna turn it back off of vent And I did turn the Ninja Foodie off. 
this little area gets hot so you have to be careful not to touch it and you just twist it right on off make sure you don't open it up to you open it away from you so the steam doesn't hit you in your face and look at all that goodness right there y'all nice tender meat but you can stop at this point and you can take it out and just put your barbecue sauce on your meat and and um put it back in there or you can just leave the barbecue sauce on like is but i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna do So now I'm just going to take my ribs out of the Ninja Foodie, place them on my pan. Look how this meat is, y'all. It is falling off the bone. Well, the bone's about to fall out of it. It's so good, and it smells so good. So I'm going to take these out, and then I'm going to take the, the pot that I had them in out and pour that water out because I'm going to then replace the ribs back into that pot and put it back into the ninja foodie because i like for my ribs to look like they just came off the grill and then i'll put them on a air fryer setting I left a little bit of the um, juice in there so it doesn't stick to the pot when I put the ribs back in. So time to place the ribs back in. And you can put your sauce on before you put them in, but I did mine once I put them in. I'm going to do the same thing to that one. I'll add sauce to it. And then I will set it to the air fryer mode. Once it's in air fryer mode, I will um, turn it to 400 and put my time on 20 minutes, which I really didn't go the whole 20. I went 15 minutes. And you will see the results in a few minutes. Look at that. I use a different barbecue sauce on the smaller one. The yellow barbecue sauce is the one I used. So this would also be a great Super Bowl meal or snack or whatever you want to call it when it's game day. And this is what we had for dinner that night. Some baked beans, fried chicken legs, barbecue, uh, the barbecue ribs, and coleslaw on the side. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, leave me some comments down below. And remember, I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love with distance. And also, if you sow, you will grow.